Hey everyone, John Hartley. Don't I don't have anything in the mail today. I thought I was going to, but apparently it, it'll be here tomorrow. And uh, it's really a pretty coin to check in on that. But earlier, I was looking through some of my older videos, and I came across one that uh, almost two years old, and. Um, it was about um, some plastic composite coins that were made for um, an offshoot country called Transnista. If I pronounce that right, I don't know. <clears throat> and, uh, and I'll link that video to the end of this one if you're interested. Those are interesting coins. But it made me think about other coins that aren't made of metal, either precious metal or some other alloy uh, that we use in modern coins. But I came across these um, about two years ago, and these are Notgeld, which means emergency money. And they are. Uh, they're made out of porcelain or clay, clay baked into porcelain. And um, I thought they were cool. Fortunately, they didn't crack up on the way to me. But they have some nice designs. This is a 20 thinning from Saxony. And um, it was these were issued due to inflation and economic problems and they didn't have the ability to um, mint a uh, metal coin. A lot of times note guilds were paper and used during times of emergency, times of war, hyperinflation and such. And I got four of these. This one has a little thing, grapes and a shovel and this is a 50 thinning. These are all 1921 and they have some thickness to them. I don't know if it's kind of hard to see but <clears throat> they're uh, I had to put each of them in a in a 2x2 two two that was bigger than the coin because the plastic wouldn't stretch enough to close completely because it's so thick. This one is one mark and it has a ship on there. One mark. And the last one got an eagle. Two marks. But I was just thinking when I saw that other video, um, I was thinking, you know, I don't, I didn't have anything else to show you, so why not revisit these? I think I made a video about these a long time ago, but it's so far back nobody would see that video anymore. And um, I might look around for some more unusual coins uh, made of something like porcelain or clay and uh, and the plastic coins that uh that I'm gonna link at the end of this video so just thought that would be interesting to revisit that um I've got the last two eagles for this year's tube on order um, but it came all the, the best deal I found came all the way from uh, Oregon so that'll be a few days probably middle of next week but hopefully tomorrow if not then Saturday I have a 
beautiful coin in my opinion that I've been looking for for a long time to find a good example. It's hard to find an uncirculated example, even even at a high price. It's hard to find uh, this coin uncirculated because it's a coin that was made in a country at a time when they didn't collect coins, they didn't put them away, they used them. Um, so that's what I have coming in. Um, and that should be here tomorrow. So if you would please click on that subscribe nickel in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, tell me what you didn't like about the video. And please leave a comment. I like reading all your comments and uh, try to answer all of them. And until that uh, coin gets here tomorrow, I'm 1042.